Praise the Lord, my beloved ones. Today, our beautiful, most amazing Lord God Jesus Christ has come to bless us with another beautiful prophetic word. And the Lord God says that this year, you shall marry your own servant, the servant of God. And you had been asking for this, you had been praying for this, that you must marry your own servant. Now, your own servant is the servant of God who is serving the Lord God and he is serving you as well. Because you had been continuously praying for your servantship, now being led by the Holy Spirit, you already know that the one to whom you will get married will be your servant, will be the servant of God, will be for the servantship, will be for serving the Lord. So you are the servant and you have the heart of the servant. So you also want to marry the one who says that I am your servant. I want to be your servant. So your godly audience spouse is the one who says, make me your servant. Let me be your servant. I am your servant who has the heart of the servant. With God, all things are possible. With God, everything and anything is possible when you ask for his glory, for the ministry, for serving the Lord. Whether you are the kingdom financer, whether you are the servant in the church, whether you are serving the Lord, whether you have the heart of the servantship, no matter what service you are doing to the Lord, this servant within you needs one more servant to support you. So let your heart be connected to your own servant now. Let your heart be connected to your own heart and to the heart of him or her. So you are getting connected, you are getting espoused, you are getting married with him or her who is already the servant of God. But earlier, your priority was not the same. Your marriage prayers were not the same. You wanted to marry someone who is of higher level. Not everyone is humble, but the one who has the heart of the servant is humble. But you knew that you are looking for a humble heart for your marriage, for your blessings, for your children, because only the humble heart will serve the Lord in his or in her own family. To see Jesus in your life, in your married life, to be led by the Holy Spirit, you need a humble heart. Now, this servant, the godly ordained servant, your marriage shall be made successful, shall be done because you have asked the right thing. Now, because you yourself are praying that you must become a servant. You want to be the servant of Heavenly Father. You are praying, Lord Jesus, make me your servant throughout my life. Let my spouse also be a servant. Let my children's children also serve you. So you have received the beautiful heart, the beautiful humble heart, the heart of the servant. Now, dear children of God, when you are so humbled and so happy to serve the Lord that you have no other desire, so everything and anything will be added to you the way you want, the way you are now, you are a humble person. So this heart will not lack anything. You will have a lot of love, a lot of compassion, kind-hearted people, true servant serving you, true servant of God supporting you. So the Lord's plan for your marriage to the servant of God, to your servant, is your support in the ministry in your day-to-day -day life. If you are a woman, your husband will support you in your day-to-day -day life. He will be the true companion. If you are the man of God, your servant will marry you. She will be very happy to serve you 
because she will serve you and she will serve the Lord. So, the intention of every person, the intention and the goal of this marriage is servantship, serving the Lord. So, he and she, you both together are going to serve the Lord. That is what you want. So, this marriage is going to be permanent blessing, successful marriage, so that you shall receive servantship in your inheritance. So, servantship shall be in your bloodline, in your bone marrow. As I anoint you, as I receive the Holy Spirit for you, I touch you. I touch you. I touch you. So let the Spirit of the living God come upon you right now. Let this servantship make you prosperous and living so that you both shall live eternally. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. We thank all those who are honoring the Lord with their wealth and for all the offerings. We bless you with a hundredfold of return. My beloved ones, if you have not yet received our Lord God Jesus Christ, if you have not yet received the Holy Spirit, we shall pray a small prayer because this repentance is at hand. Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we receive salvation. We receive Holy Spirit into our heart. Oh Lord, forgive us our sins and help us to be born again. We shall seek you, O Lord Jesus Christ, unto Zion. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My beloved ones, with this small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you. You shall walk the walk of righteousness.